few weeks ago, we checked out Guitar Hero Live, but today they showed us Guitar Hero TV. This is a whole new area. This is almost like what you would consider just extra DLC on top of the final game. Once you buy it, it comes with all this extra stuff, including two channels that are just streaming the entire time and a whole bunch more. Yeah, we've been wondering for a long time, how exactly is this going to work? Because they've been talking about from the beginning, there are going to be hundreds of songs. You're going to have some amount of it on disc, and some amount of it will be available outside of that. And, and now we have a much clearer picture, even though we don't quite know how pricing is going to work. And we'll talk about what would be good for that a little bit later. But thinking about, like, here's what you have on disc, and here is the content that you get outside of that. And it's going to be across two channels. Mm -hmm. Like, you get to play this on. It's like watching old school MTV when, you know, when they played music. <laughs> and you're gonna watch music videos and you can just play those songs as they happen. But it's almost like a completely different game because it, it has its own system of leveling, it has songs that are not on the disc. Uh, what else do you guys think Yeah, about? this is the multiplayer mode uh, to the Guitar Hero Live single player mode. And this is the thing that is the big hook for it. I mean, the, the, whole, the whole like uh, people looking at you stuff, that's cool, but you know, this is a different way to play the game. Um, and I thought it was really cool because I mean, I like to play a lot of Guitar Hero to be able to just switch on and just have songs thrown at me constantly was a really nice idea. Yeah, like being able to access that DLC as, a, as an old school yeah. rock band and Guitar Hero player, I, I've paid a lot of yeah, money ditto. for DLC over the years. And I don't always play it that much. Like maybe I'll download that song and it's like two or three dollars yeah. and like that's the one time I play it. Here you're just, you have constant access to, to songs. Maybe, like maybe you don't get to play them whenever you want. But, yeah. they're, but they're playing and you get, you're getting that constant stream of songs, so it's you more like... content to play. You yeah. get new, like, note charts to actually try and hit. You know, like, it's something you might not want to buy, you know, straight away. You can play it once or twice. I mean, it's a nice to, like, try before you, you know, commit to it. You don't have to commit to any of it. There's a lot more content in addition to these two channels as well. They're um, giving us competitions where you can play yeah. online with people consistently. There's uh, weekly challenges now where they might ask you to get a 100-note streak on a very particular song. Uh, and then that will unlock certain things, yeah. so they've been really interested in showing off skins. So there's particular skins for each of your uh, guitars. Your note tracks. Your yeah. note tracks, and so when you're playing it, and they're very specific, right? Like some really interesting ones <laughs> yeah. that, are, that make you feel really unique. So there's, there's all these like, nice incentives to it. Yeah. Um, but I think something that's really new that we got to check out today was the leveling system. This is really interesting. This is kind of what we were calling the Call of yeah. Duty <laughs> of Guitar Hero, uh, because <laughs> you, you actually are unlocking things. So there are huge benefits to leveling up now. When you think about how Getting onto the, onto the top charts, beating your friends is something that, that's always a core part of mm -hmm. the, those experiences, like a, a rock band and guitar hero. Like, I want to do better than, my, than everybody else. In this one, you actually have to keep playing and you have to level up in a very Call of Duty-like way, or else even two people who are on equal footing, the person who has leveled up more is going to have more skills, more abilities for their guitar, right. and they're going to do better. So like some of the, the abilities we saw were, in, instead of leveling up your guitar where you get a uh, regular amount of points for, for notes. You can actually get like 1.2, level up to the next point, you get 1.4 times the points for, for every note that you hit. But you also get different abilities, They're, uh, different hero powers, I think is what they call them. Yeah, the new star power. Yeah, so like, yeah, the, like some really odd ones that would change the game, like you would get more chances to get even more star power. You, like you can bank star power now. Um, or sorry, hero power, um, and save two for like a really difficult section. There's, there was that bomb one that you could activate and just blow up the entire track in front of you um, and get the perfect score for that, uh, that section. Um, and it seems a bit overpowered at first because, you know, when you're competing on a leaderboard, you know, that's a bit unfair and unbalanced. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we were told that at, once you hit the prestige level, <laughs> so, uh, so to speak, um, everything will be equal, mm -hmm. more but or less. You have to get up to that prestige level first. Yeah. And, and it can be, I, I think when you hear about it, it feels like, oh, this is giving people an unfair advantage. Yeah. But, it, but it's worth pointing out that those hero power, the, the abilities for your guitar can only be unlocked with the in-game currency mm -hmm. that you own. Like, they, there is two types of currency. There's the real world money, the in-game currency, and everything in the game you can access through in-game currency. It's a little bit different in, in how often and how much you can access it, but everything you can see that you can purchase with real world money, you can get with in-game money. They've been a little shaky with how much they've actually told us about this money, how much everything's going to cost. When you want to play a song, you can 
just have a play. You can use a play is what they call it, yeah. and it costs one play to play a song once. You don't get it again, you lose that play, and you earn that just by playing songs. Let's just say you're playing through the free channels. Yeah. Each time you play a song in those free channels, you're earning currency that you can redeem for plays. Mm -hmm. Then you can play this song for free. Then you can also buy the song uh, with in-game currency, or you can use your real money to buy these songs. That way you have them unlocked forever. And now there's another tier where it's subscription or unlocking for a certain amount of time. Let's mm -hmm. say 12 hours. So I want to have a party and I want to have my friends over and I want everything unlocked. I don't want to worry about it. You can either spend in-game currency or use real game currency to just unlock all the content for 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty interesting, but we don't know how much any that's of this right. stuff is going to cost yet. I mean, the system itself is, um, it seems really great. Like, you know, I play a lot of Guitar Hero, and, you know, um, if I can access all this content without, you know, having to pay money um, and just, like, hang out in a channel for a day, like, that's really exciting. But, yeah, that casual um, sort of player who plays only for a few hours each day, that price would be a big deal breaker. Well, I think the thing that gets really off putting is when you describe something as free. Yeah. So, like, when you think of something as free, but then there's a paywall to it, like that automatically feels like it costs more money. But we've paid for a DLC for Rock Band yeah. and Guitar Hero for a long time, and at, like what two dollars a song? Yeah, and that's that's kind of a premium when you think. I, I think on iTunes you can get a song for a dollar. Right, and and also now when we're putting plays into the mix too. I mean, how much is a play going to cost mm -hmm. when I'm only going to play the song once? And what if I spend this fifty cents yeah. or a dollar or whatever for this play, and then my internet craps out or yeah. I, uh, I don't like it somebody comes <laughs> over and I need to answer the door or, you know <laughs> or you got to go to the bathroom like you do you lose that money you just lose it it's gone and so you you get yourself into this very weird gray area yeah. where how are people going to actually feel when they're spending real real world money yeah. is this very different scenario when you're playing it for one time you don't know if you're going to get your money's is, worth you can still get all of that content for free like you don't I, I think it's rewards you for your yeah. time and, then, and that's what's important to me as someone who's going to play a lot of the game. The fact that I'm getting something out of it that I can access that content without it. And they've described it as two currencies, but as we keep saying, like, how many plays do you get? How do you earn plays? That's technically a third currency. And, like, that, it's going to be really important that you were able to earn those quickly, that we're able to get access to them. Like, if I get a play for every regular song that I play, <laughs> like, that, that would feel really worth it. There's so much to go into here that we haven't, we barely scratched the surface of what what Guitar Hero TV is, right? Because now with these unlockable things, there's going to be challenges before you can actually get to your main challenge, right? So there's like these three boxes of tiers of things you have to do. Maybe like get three stars on a song, get a, um, a, a hundred note streak on another song. And if you don't have those songs unlocked, you're gonna have to use your plays to get to the songs so that you can unlock the main thing. So or, there's, there's a lot to this. Or, or if those songs come up in a playlist, you can also earn them through that. So like as long as that premium content is available to unlock, you can co try to complete the challenge to, to get to it. Or you can always just pay real world money and you can get to it right away. There's, there is a lot that we don't know yet until we understand the price structure and uh, that's something that they said they're going to be figuring out probably up until mm -hmm. the last minute. There's, there's a lot that we don't know yet and also even you know the menu systems that we saw, they're, they're still figuring out a lot of this stuff. They're still figuring out what the challenges are going to be, what the prizes will be. Mm -hmm. So there's still a lot to uncover, but we got our first chance at, of looking at it. And I'll tell you, if there's anything that's really amazing about it, it's just being able to hang out uh, with a bunch of friends and have an actual MTV in the background. Yeah, absolutely. For the first time, to like see the music videos in the background. This is like what we were saying. It's uh, Call of Duty meets MTV when it was cool. <laughs> well.